Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about a collaboration challenge hosted by Pirate Pretties. So the name of the challenge is, let me make sure I get this right, Monthly Birthstone Jewelry Collaboration Challenge. It's November, so citrine or yellow topaz, it's what's on the menu today. So the rest are just options. We've got one option to either use gold or bronze, and I'm going to use bronze. She wants us to make earrings, got that. And she wants us to either use sun, moon, or stars. I'll be using the sun. I got these beads in a curated bead box. I think they're really, really cool. They're not citrine and they're not topaz, but they're kind of that golden yellow color. And so this is what I'm going to be using. I don't have any citrine. I don't have any... Uh, gold or yellow topaz. So these will make a really good substitute for that. And then look at this. Isn't this cool? And the story behind it is even cooler. I like to do family history. And over the years, I have found my roots. I have a lot of um, German, English, um, a little bit of Scottish. I'm just, I'm kind of a Heinz 57. But um, there was one side of our family, and it was my dad's father's side, that we had zero information about. I didn't even really know, he didn't even know who his father was. Well, through DNA, we got matched to a, a man who immigrated from Italy. So, I have quite a bit of Italian in me. Once we found this out, we met, we started meeting a lot of uh, relatives on that side. And they are so, I just really love them. They are really, really nice people. And this last time I was in Florida, we went to visit some of them. And my dad's uh, niece, she is like a year younger than my dad. <laughs> We were able to meet with her, and she makes jewelry. She's lived all over the place. She's been to France and, of course, Italy and the Caymans. And Anyway, when she was in France, she was able to pick up some beads. And these are antique um, 1940s, I think she said. Actually, it might have even been earlier than that, maybe in the 20s. I can't remember, but they are old beads. And this is what I'm going to use in my um, earrings today. I thought they looked a lot like the sun. And we've got the color of the sun here. And then I'm going to also use some garnet that I got from last month's Bargain Bead Box. It's kind of a orangey golden color. And then... Like I said before, we're going to be using bronze, antique bronze. Oh, what did I do with my ear wire? I thought I had one out. Oh, I need, oh, nope, that's not it. Let me go find it, and we'll be back to create these earrings. So I'm using a head pin, and I'm just going to put this, where's the hole? Somewhere, there it is this bead on the head pin, and I am going to just make a little loop and messily wrap it. And once I get it to the way I like it, I'm just going to clip the excess off and tuck in the wire. So I have some antique brass wire here. It's 20 gauge. I'm going to put this little bead that I think looks a lot like the sun and I'm 
for it to be garnet on here. I think it's a hessonite garnet. I think that's what they call that. And then I'm just going to, again, I'm going to make a loop with a messy wrap and then tuck in the wire. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I need to clip a little bit off because I'm going to feed this bead here in the, on there like so. And then I'm just going to wrap, wrap, wrap. I love the way that dangles. Okay, all I need to do is finish the wrapping here and tuck that wire in. I'm going to clip it off there. I think I have enough. And it's important to tuck your wires in, but you need to make sure you're not going over a bead where you will um, crack the bead. If you don't tuck your wires in, they do have a potential of scratching people. And now we're just going to take the ear wire, open it up, hang that on. And we have a new pair of earrings. Ooh, I love those. I'll be wearing these a lot. I want to thank my cousin for giving me these antique beads. She shared some with me and my sister. And uh, I've already made another pair of earrings. In fact, let me go get them and I'll show you what they look like. These were the other pair. Aren't they cool? Here's the ones we made today. They have a little bit of bling on them. I want to thank y'all for joining me today and go check out all the other participants. I'll leave a hashtag down in the description box below. So you can just click on that and check out all the other participants. And y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.